question for me was to build a different kind of company, uh, a company that had a conscience, and in many ways, the kind of company that my father never got a chance to work for. So, um, we have 200,000 employees all over the world, and I think our mission was to try and create a company that achieved a balance between profitability and benevolence, so that everyone shared in the success. And that mission goes back to my Walk into a Starbucks store, like right now, they, there's, there's a rhythm and a poetry to what's happening uh, around the experience. And to me, that experience has a natural life or a natural soul. Now, um, when I, uh, Real Madrid, the team, when I walked in, I went to a soccer game with Plasto, it was 80,000 people singing for two hours. That was soul. You know, just uh, an incredible passion and common belief in something. Uh, I also think it's not something you can invent or fake. It has to be authentic. Leadership uh, is about creating a vision that people can believe and see themselves in. But if you're a great leader and you force people to believe, uh, it, that is not sustainable. You, you can't dictate to people a sense of belief. A sense of belief has to come as a result of their collective understanding in what's gonna, what the vision is and what's in it for them. About Starbucks is about human connection and humanity. I think it's a, it's a word that's quite relevant today in the world because I think we're all hungry for human connection. And it's also about trust. You, you don't want to connect with something or someone you don't trust. And you have to have trust and or, an or, or the relationship won't, uh, is not sustainable and the company won't succeed. So you asked about connection, but it's really about building and instilling trust in others. It's so important to build the kind of team that has expertise and competency in their special areas. Uh, and however, when you recruit somebody from the outside, they have to have the talent as well as having like-minded values to, to the culture and values of the company. So it's not enough to go get a great talent if the values of the person is not consistent. It's like a sports team. You can, be a, you can recruit a great athlete to the team, but if he's not a team player, he might score a lot of goals, but the team's not gonna win. So, uh, I think it's important to constantly challenge whether or not you have the best team, but that team must be consistent with a set of values and trust in order for the team to work. And I think it's important not to only think about internal because there is great talent outside and, and we want to be the best team we can be. I think you've got to get a good education. You have to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you are, uh, people who have like-minded values, and then I think you have to have the, the curiosity to see things that maybe other people don't see and the courage to go after them. And uh, also I say to people, young people, don't let anyone tell you your dreams can't come true. And in fact, I say, dream big, and then after you do that, dream bigger.